tragic tale with a, a brighter ending. This is the tale of, of Patty the Duckbill Potipus. Patty lived in a bubbling stream, luscious green, just fresh, fresh water with little pebbles on the bottom. Patty loved, he loved his little home. He would swim in it all day long and here with all his little friends. Um, but after time, the stream started to lessen. There was less and less water. He would sink lower and lower until he was swimming right up against the rocks. And that's when swim, the rocks would rub up against his legs. It was really uncomfortable. Patty did not like the way that that felt. They would rub his legs and it would hurt and they were getting red and flaky. So he decided, he says, I cannot live here anymore. Patty says, I need to find a new home. So Patty, one day, he decides he can't take this anymore. So he gets out of his stream, and he walks out to go find a new home. He doesn't know where he's going, but he knows he's going to live someplace else. So Patty is walking and walking through the forest into a neighboring town. And as he's walking, he, he feels his legs rubbing against him, rubbing against each other. And they hurt. They're red, and they're chafing against each other. And he does not like the way that feels at all. He says, I need to find a different way to get around. This is terrible. So as he goes in town, he finds a little crack and there's a single bike there. He hops on it. This is nice. He likes the way this is going. He's moving quite along. He's looking over. Where is his new home going to be? There's so many options in this cute little town. Um, then as he's riding, he's crossing the street and he sees this bus coming. This bus is coming so fast. This town has crazy buses. They're coming so fast. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't think he's going to make it. He tries to follow the bike. He pedals as hard as he can and he says, Help me get out of this, help me get out of this. And he feels the tires slowly lift off the pavement into the air. And he feels himself like flying. Patty the platypus is flying through the air on his bike. He loves it. He loves the way flying feels. He's like, this can be my new home. I love the wind in my in my fur and my duck bill like waggling all over the place. And he says, I love this, I love this. As he is pedaling though, the bike is up against his legs. Again, his legs are hurting him. He does not like this at all. So he says, I can't, I can't live up in the sky. So he leaps off of the bike and falls through the air. And he falls down into a little bush. And then he looks around and he's on something kind of sucks in the head of And he looks and he's on a little body cover. This feels so nice on his legs that are so tired of being rubbed, rubbed. So he's like, I like this. This could be my new home. The bunny starts hopping. He's like, whoa, 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 where are we headed? And the bunny is hopping and hopping and hopping, going down the street. And then after a while, the little hopping was really jarring him. His legs were just still really rough after his adventure. He says, I cannot stay on this bunny any longer. It was soft, now I hate it. So he has to jump off the bunny. He's on the concrete, laying on the concrete. Where is he going to go? Patty has given up hope. The sky was not his home. The bunny rabbit was not his home. His stream is long gone. He's lying on the ground, crawling, crawling, because he doesn't have the strength to walk anymore. What is he going to do? He's almost out of hope. And he looks up and he sees large concrete letters, peeling letters, public pool, pool, pool. That sounds like someplace that Patty could go. So he crawls, he crawls, he uses all the strength to crawl to the front door of this public pool. And he's crawling, trying to get in between all these little kids' legs. Slowly and steadily, he doesn't think he's going to make it. But finally, he reaches the edge of the pool and he slips into the nice, cool water. This is exactly what Patty was looking for cool water, fun little friends that he can play with. And after they closed up the pool that night, <coughs> Patty was lost in there. The janitor found him. He found little Patty. He bandaged up his hurt legs, and it felt so nice in the cool water. And he decided that they were going to keep Patty in the pool and invite all of his other platypus friends that were stuck in the old street. And it became the platypus play pool open for all the community. So for all those 